Now at these games we're going to be analysing more than 6,000 samples and at a peak we may have as many as 400 samples coming through in a day. Nevertheless, we still got to turn around accurate, reliable results to the highest scientific standard. So that's why I say we're super fast and super sensitive. Should we find something in one of those samples, we'll then go right back to the A sample and repeat the process more specifically for what it is that um, we had detected in it. Only if our first result and that second test match up will report to the International Olympic Committee that we have a finding. What's also happening at this lab is all the tests are being kept for eight years, so all the results. So should a new test come out in the future which finds a way of detecting something uh, that hadn't previously been detectable, we can go back eight years from now and still call that athlete up into account. I do believe that there's a very strong deterrent effect that where um, the athletes know there's going to be good testing, they won't take drugs. That is, the deterrent effect is very effective. That will enable athletes to compete fairly in London.